Capricorn, 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 where are you at? I'm hearing that right off the bat. Capricorn, what's your, I'm hearing what's your number? I'm hearing, I, I, let me call you, let, let's talk about this more. Oh my, okay, is that the call from the universe, dear Capricorn? I'm hearing, is it time yet? Are we, are we ready? I'm hearing to talk about it. <laughs> what's, what's the, uh, what is, what is the, um, the take here? Uh, I'm hearing away message of the conversation also of the night now let's see what's going on through your phone number you feeling a real strong connection here with someone daughter cups here coming through and i just did the cancer reading there could be a strong focus on the archetype of cancer you could be dealing with someone who's got also scorpio on the chart you could be dealing with the scorpio the death card here coming through <laughs> and so for number of you whoa did you, i don't know if you caught that but i was shuffling and this pack of cards literally just landed on the desk and it was, they were, it's heavy. There was like the majority of the cards came out together at once. And it, I was like, oh man, it's going to fall on the ground. It, that was like the feeling almost. Okay. But it wasn't really, it was just kind of like, you know, when cards fly out, um, it's like, are they going to get strewn all over the place? They, they flipped out all in, in, in like a condensed form. Okay. Together. And they just literally they flew all out and landed on the desk and remained there. This is the hermit at the base of the death card. What is this about Capricorn? The Emperor here in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse. Okay, now somebody has, oh yes, Daughter Cups coming through and the Hermit um, you know, with the lovers. Somebody, somebody is really attracted to someone, but they are freaking like, they're, they're, they're frantic about how they would address this space in some way. They're also not just frantic, they're unfocused in some way. They feel like, I don't know yet, I need to focus some more. I need to meditate on it, I need to, I need to, I need, I need to manage it. I'm hearing the 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 perspective that I have of it now, and they're wanting though to officialize it in some way. They want to officially also represent and recognize themselves in that space in some way. Absolutely, the emperor is in reverse at the base of the hermit, and it's like, what's the point here? I'm hearing, what's my what's my what's my persona? What's my point? What's my what's my you know my my uh, my character really? That's kind of the feeling I'm getting here. Ace of Pentacles coming through in the future. The father one's looking down at the of pentacles with the mother of wands holy shit there's so much goddamn attraction somebody doesn't even know what to do it's like uh they're like licking their lips i don't know they're like oh my i'm hearing i'm hearing isn't she lovely what's that song capricorn it's like because isn't she lovely oh isn't she wonderful isn't she precious oh you you don't need to answer that because i i'm hearing because i had the time of my life and i owe it all to you i'm hearing her though specifically okay so somebody perhaps they feel that they that they know i'm hearing there's no way I'm going out. I'm, I'm going home without her. I'm hearing as well the two of cups coming through upright. The father, I'm hearing father of swords here. Father wands, I'm hearing as well with the hermit. There's a father of swords here right at the base of the two of cups. Uh, mirroring here the hermit and the father wands, I'm hearing. They're extremely studious. There's something about their studies that is like really... Um, they are very responsible or maybe they feel like they they take they take an ounce of measure with everything cautious caution with everything i don't know what that's alluding to but anyhow so okay i'm hearing adele here as well the hermit and the father of swords with the two cups now for a number of you it's like um this person like they're like i know that she's also the one i'm hearing <laughs> the because they feel that they had some kind of experience that was very telling of this okay right then and there something swooped down here what was that what was that capricorn it's seven swords okay yeah okay all right yeah so there's something that maybe someone felt like i needed to say something but i didn't yeah i didn't say anything about that hmm, i never i never acknowledged that I wanted to be the presenter of the night. Okay, so this is for a number of you, someone who actually wanted commitment and they didn't They didn't say that. They acted like they didn't or they didn't show up in some way. They felt that they actually should have, okay? And that really took a toll. The fool looking off into the future, like it made them feel like I am just telling lies. I'm hearing a tall, a tall, a tall teller. I'm hearing here with the Son of Wands in reverse. Like looking back at the Hermit and Two of Wands, like so much pressure to like re recreate the image here. Now the fool's looking in the future in the Nine of Cups, Six of 
Pentacles. I'm hearing, what's the storyline here? Buzz, bud. I'm hearing as well. Father, cups, universe at the base of the fool. Okay. Um, this is a matter of uh, drawing the dream to scale. You got the star in reverse, three of pentacles in reverse, nine of cups upright. There is so much freaking fantasy. It's not even funny. The nine of cups isn't mirroring the fool, but it's like, what's going to actually be, be, be the path that we pave out, okay, to reach that point. Now, for a number of you, though, someone feels like it's also a matter of maturity, vulnerability. Absolutely. What is maturity, right? You're going to have a five-year-old who has um, a full, full, full physical also um, acknowledgement of their emotions. Um, and then you're going to have like a 55-year-old who, who is is, uh, you know, still on their, um, I'm hearing four year olds, uh, I'm hearing a test, I'm hearing and how they take it. I don't know what I was alluding to. No judgment. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm hearing strongly. <laughs> this is a Sagittarius cross watcher in the crowd. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. I got a lot of Sag in my chart. Everyone is Sag somewhere, okay? It's not like a Sagittarius. It's like someone who perhaps has a lot of Sagittarius, but none, you know, everybody's got Sagittarius somewhere in their chart. It's just a matter of how they acknowledge it. And if it's your Venus sign, it could be playing out in terms of your, you know, matters of love. Get the Temperance card upright, mirroring the Strength card. Um, it feels like a standardized test that we're taking. I'm hearing it in that way. There's something that we feel is like awkward though at the same time we're like what is what is this environment i'm hearing that with the six of cups at the base of the temperance card and the star strength card like i know i want it but like well, i don't know what's what's with all of the uh the hard also angles in the room that are made out and for a number of you this is actually somebody who feels that there is pressure it's pressure to express okay what they feel is pressure okay like it's really like that like the pressure of also passion and uh so apply it in your situation as you feel it might might relate but um you know somebody feels perhaps even like i need to i need to level up and it might not be conscious it might be subconscious where they feel like i feel like i haven't perhaps like to them they're like well i'm i'm just not ready yet like i'm not gonna directly address that or in some way or i'm not gonna take action in some way um <laughs> Though at the same time, like on the outside in looking and what is the outside, what is the inside, but it's like somebody maybe is like not taking action on anything. Now in the back of their own mind though, interesting that we're distinguishing their own mind from that of perhaps uh, the environmental influence, even that which is related to their career, if it is especially so public, it's like mm, the same in the way that somebody might be actually influenced subconsciously by their environment okay it's almost like uh subconsciously i think about the reactions of others i'm hearing that specifically the magician here mirroring the son of cups like okay it's like the magician on stage who really wonders like what what will what what will people expect to see when i pull the rabbit out of the hat <laughs> I'm like what okay i don't know the chariot here upright mirroring the magician and so for a number of you like the father wants here is in reverse me the chariot like um Someone has a dryer without sheets on. I don't know what that's alluding to. Okay, but I'm saying it was like, it's tumble dry here with the father of wands, but there's no dryer sheets in there. I don't know what that's, oh. Someone feels really uncomfortable in this space. They feel a lot of pressure to also present themselves in the space or to present the space altogether. And they don't know how to, um, I'm hearing it's like an avalanche. They, they don't know how to um, process it. For a number of you, this is a matter of productivity. Like someone feels also they have just too much work. They've got too much pressure again to like, um, I'm hearing like pack up and move with the chariot. Son of cups and the four cups, like way too much pressure to like also, um, like commit to the cause. I don't know what that, I'm not seeing it as like commitment. I'm seeing it as like, how do we take, well, take it as you will, but it's like, how do we, how do we talk about the space as well? Capricorn. Okay. It's like what, what we feel also is somewhat of a test. How do we, how do we, um, how do we, How do we explain? I'm hearing as well, perhaps to our parents, our family. Someone feels really uncomfortable. One second. Hmm. 
Hmm, interesting. They feel like at the mercy of some kind of experience, but they don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to deal with it. I'm hearing that specifically. They feel like they don't know how to deal with it. It's perspective, right? But it's also tension, perhaps, of attraction. The question of where does it lead? We'll see what comes through in the extended reading. Love and light to you, Capricorn. And I'll see you there. If you'd like to tune into the extended reading, feel free to click the link in the bio box below. Um, and you're leading out here with the Six of Cups. Let's see what this, um, what the conversation, if there is a conversation, what it might lead to, all right? Love and light to you. And also, it can be in terms of the emotion that's felt here with the Seven of Cups and the Chariot. What what we feel um, we we do feel a connection with and what we um, would like to create of that space. Love and light to you. Always take as you will. And always a matter of perspective and perception. Bye.